Now, folks, we happen to be sitting here today, and some of us standing, in what's known as Sparrow and Newton. That's uh, Todd and Daryl now, since Harry sort of retired, although he's here in memory. Uh, barber shop, and these gentlemen are men of honesty and integrity and great uh, education. And uh, the, the visitors here today happen to be, uh, what's the name down there at the end? Danny. Danny. And then Joe. Joe. Oh, Joe. Gary. And then Gary. Gary. And Bill. And Bill the manager. And Bill the manager. And coming in for uh, hair, hair styling today is Bob. And uh, we happen to be, and down here we have yeah. Butch West. Butch West. And we happen to have here, uh, well, folks, to start off, if you haven't got great knowledge, that's okay. Just listen to the Howdy Boys and you'll soon be educated. That's right. That's one way of putting it. That's one way of putting it. And uh, they always like to hear here our Commonwealth song. Contrary to what we hear with some of the news media talking about doing away with it. That's like doing away with your right arm or your left leg. It would hurt either way. And uh, so today I'd like to sing for you, even though I just got over surgery here, a couple places. In fact, you can say almost play tic-tac-toe on my face. They've cut me so many ways. But, but anyway, but anyway uh, 1966, I was president of the student body at the, what then was known the Northern Community College of the University of Kentucky. And an older gentleman come up, his name happened to be Happy Chandler. And I said, sir, when you're going to speak to the group today, I'd like for you to sing that song, My Old Kentucky Home, and teach me how to sing it. And he said, son, he poked me on the chest two or three times. He said, I'll teach you how to sing it, but you got to sing it from your heart. So since 1966, I have sang that song in every county in the state of Kentucky, all 120 of them, the only person alive to do that. I filmed the history of all 120 counties and donated a set of the tapes to every county library in the state, sang it for the legislature and sang it for the governors. And it goes like this, but I'll sing it to you from my heart. Oh, the sun shines bright. On my old Kentucky home, tis summer, the children at play. The corn tops ripe, and the meadows are in bloom, and the birds make music all the day. The children rule on the little cabin floor, all merry, all happy and bright. By and by, hard times comes a knocking at the door. Then my old Kentucky home says good night. Weep no more, my ladies. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home. For my old Kentucky home. Far away. For my old Kentucky home. Far away. Far, far away. God bless America. God bless Kentucky. And praise the Lord and pass the ammunition of godly principles. Amen. 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 Right here at Sparrow Newton's Barbershop in Fort Wright, Kentucky. If you haven't had your hair cut here, then you've not had a real haircut. <laughs>
Hold on a second now. Okay. Now this is a this is a little story here about the importance of of your wife. Yeah. Because your wife is a, a half of your body and half of your spirit. You know. I always uh, I go out to sing at these uh, weddings and they have them on Valentine's Day and 13 couples got married and they want me to come out and sing to them in Boone County. So I went out and I said, what I'm going to sing is this song here because there's history to it. Billy Preston, Billy Preston, who played the organ with Elvis for years, he wrote this song and he sang it, and he sang it the first time in his mother's little church, one room church. The organ was broke down, so he sang it with his guitar, and it was called You Are So Beautiful. It was made popular all over the world by Joe Cocker, but who sang it first? was Billy Preston who, who wrote it. And I sang it to these 13 couples out there when they got married, and I told them that story. Because you want three people in your marriage. You want the husband, the wife, and Jesus. The husband, the wife, and Jesus. The husband, the wife, and Jesus. So it's, uh, it's the old saying goes, uh, and I learned from Billy Graham many years ago in 1956 in Louisville, Kentucky, when I gave my life to the Lord. And that is, it's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job to love. And so I sing you this song today out of love. And it goes like this. Are you ready, Daryl? I'm ready. I'm ready to get my story. Okay. It goes like this. You are so beautiful. Wait, somebody's got something on. on Danny. 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 Are you ready? <laughs> you are so beautiful to me. You are so beautiful. To me, can't you see? You're everything I hope for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful to <laughs> me. Uh, that's a, that song's okay. That's good. That's a song now, when you end it, you had to sing it though with. You are so beautiful to God. Ah, yes, yes. And that's what you want to sing to your wives. And they will love you endearly. They really will. Sing it to her tonight. I got it fresh in my mind. Fresh it in your mind. I sing it to my wife. She had tears in her eyes. I got tears in my eyes for singing. You know why I always took my wife every place I went? Well, every place. They always ask me that when I was married. Now, I said because I didn't have to kiss her goodbye. <laughs> now let me tell you, na, 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 Danny. Na, 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 na. Danny. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is one song here that I love to sing, and I know it's a it's a, it's a church song. I will only that? sing you one verse. What is it? Six it's two, called seven. "I'd Rather Have Jesus." Well, Joe, sing that. Joe, sing I'd that. rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather be him. You tell that to Judas. Judas. He, he traded him in for gold. Jesus than <laughs> worldwide fame. I'd rather be his. I gotta go and get some gold. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you did a good job. Well, I know, I know the song. And, and that's the that's the antenna of that song. Bye, Christ. Good day, Billy. Bye. Good day. Give us one day. This is a one hell of a song. Okay. Give us 16 tons. That's your best song. 16 tons by Tennessee to, Arnie Ford. And, uh. Hey, you guys. Listen to this song. I did 16 tons. And what do you got? Another day older and deeper in. St. Peter, don't you call me because I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. <laughs> now, I tell you, you have to do this song. <laughs> 16 tons, I'll do it for you. It was made popular by uh, Tennessee Ernie Ford. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. A muscle and blood and skin and bones. 
a mine that's weak and a back that's strong. You load 16 tons, and what did you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Now when I sing this part of the song, I've got to remember Miss June. And when she says, John, I need this, I don't say why, I say how high do you want me to jump? <laughs> no, just kidding at all. She's a wonderful wife. And it goes like this. I was born one morning, it was drizzling rain. Fighting and trouble was my middle name. I was raised in a cane brick vine. Oh, mama lion, there ain't no honky-tonk woman make me walk the line. You load 16 tons, and what did you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. San Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Now here's the part I used to sing to the kids when I taught school. I would come into the classroom and I'd jump up on top of the desk the first day of the year. How much did you weigh when you I only weighed about 180 pounds in. <laughs> I'd jump up on the desk and I'd look them in the eye and I'd say, there's 45 minutes in this class. 35 minutes are mine and 10 minutes are yours. Don't mess with mine and I won't mess with yours. And then I'd sing him this song, this part of the song. If you see me coming better, step aside. A lot of men didn't and a lot of men died. One fist of iron, the other of steel. If the right one don't get you, then the left one will. You load 16 tons, and what did you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause... I can't go, I owe my soul to the company store. Amen, brother. Amen. 16 tons, written by Merle Travis, an old Kentucky boy from Muhlenberg County. Muhlenberg. Now that's enough music for today, folks. Stopping in here at Sparrow and Newton's uh, uh, barber shop and Hair stylist. We had eight people in an hour now and two. John's got a podcast going on. He's got and, a podcast. John, we can do it, everybody. We're down to two now. Everybody left. Hey, we had Cameron going to bring it in here. We had him going to set the whole deal up, go live. That's right. And he's going to be kind of a star. Called That's show. right. And he, he just panned up. <laughs> Once the lights went on, he went off. He did. Yeah. Man. Well, Gerald Lynn said, you better not say anything about me. I'll sue you. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> Well, nice to be with you guys, Daryl and uh, Todd, and guests here today. And just remember, as you're traveling Kentucky, if you need to get a haircut, call Sparrow and Newton at what number, Todd? 491 and the And the address is? 1868 Ashland Circle, Fort Wright, Kentucky. So praise the Lord and pass the ammunition.